walk-in NHS centres will offer patients instant access. Do you want to see the doctor? The doctor will be free in about 15 minutes. Are you happy to wait? It's part of a series of reforms that will change the way patients make contact with the health service. You're querying about some carbon monoxide poisoning. Instead of visiting the surgery, this may be the way many of us receive medical advice in future. But you've had the fire sorted and the room is adequately ventilated now. Right. The 24-hour NHS direct telephone service, manned by nurses, will cover the whole of England by the end of next year. For the patient, this could be the first point of call, the gateway for the NHS. They will call us and we will be able to put them through to whatever service they require, give them whatever advice they require. And when we do go to the local surgery, it may no longer be a doctor we see. David Hotchin is a nurse practitioner. He's cheaper to employ and soon he'll be able to prescribe some medicines. What's more, he claims to offer something different and, by implication, better. A GP might take a very limited approach and, and just look at how the heart's working, how fast the pulse is, how high the blood pressure is. A, a nurse, I think, would take a more, um, a more whole approach to the patient and perhaps look at the reasons behind why the blood pressure is up in the first place. At the British Medical Association, Dr John Chisholm welcomes many of the government's changes but he's worried that GP's traditional independence and their special relationship with patients could be threatened. Most patients value tremendously their personal link with a local general practice where the doctors, nurses and staff have known them over many years. And if we destroy that link by the way in which appointments are made or the way in which services are organised, we will lose something tremendously valuable for patients. The Prime Minister promised a new NHS today, one that will be more responsive to patient needs. But it may well be a less personal service. And while the traditional role of the GP will still be important, it will not be as important as it once was. Neil Dixon, BBC News, at the International Convention Centre in Birmingham. Now back to our main story, the war in the Balkans. NATO's call for massive...